I'll show you something cool. Take a look at our Christmas tree. Ooh. They got some presents underneath too. I really want to open them, but uh, you can tell there's a CCTV. So when I first came back to Vancouver, they showed me this. this is, you know what they call this? They call this a fob. Scan that. Get you to your place. I was like, what is it again? He said, it's a fob. I was like, uh, do you know what fob means? <laughs> and like, yeah, yeah, it's a key opener. Yeah, it also means pressure off the boat. So I'm uh, going to show you what I drink every day. It's very cool. Ta-da! So usually I just drink water every day. Because water's good for you. Getting one of these little Brita things here. I used to drink a lot of coffee, Coke, Red Bull, uh, bubble tea, shakes, everything you can think of, right? And I spent a fortune on drinks going out. And now that I'm in Vancouver, I have to cut down, so I was thinking, eh, I, just, I would cut down on everything. And I just simplify my life. And now I just drink water and red wine. So you just take off the lid here. See this black stuff? That's uh, I don't know. That's like the filtering of the water there. So you just like add that. And it just drips down to the bottom. Is that? Yeah. And uh, you're good to go. And right now we're at Homo World on Kingsway, in Burnaby. My friend Noel. Our first dish is uh, it's like it's Taiwan fried rice with a skinless pork. Yeah. Watch your lens might get all steamed up. <laughs> Noel and I are the same age, but we look very different. <laughs> I'm a kid and he's like a father. <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty if you much. can guess our age, write down your comment down below. Take it. I'm 45 years old. <laughs> So, but I don't know these these drinks. I'm not familiar with the most of them. What's that white drink called again? White? That's not white drink. White drink. I'll call it white drink. Remember we went to that restaurant on Boston Street? Yeah. It had like that big. It had like the shots of that white fluid. White shot. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? How can you not remember? You think you have cum or something? Pretend it's not even there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's keep it like that, alright? Okay. So. <laughs> I really like you're freezing up. Nope. That's pretty good, actually. Just soap coming out. Detergent. Another great thing about doing a vlog is that I can monitor myself like what I say and how I behave. So it's kind of like auto-correcting myself. Like, jeez, I didn't know I was so negative. Right? Until, like, until you watch yourself, right? Well, I didn't know I was so this or that. Notice. Justin, when you're a megalomaniac, you don't know You know that you're right. Yeah, I am. 100% of the time. Yeah? I know. I say it's gold. Comes out of his mouth, it's gospel. You try the pearls? You can just chop it up and then... The pearls are really chewy. Uh, I hate pearls. I don't know. Wait, hey? I don't know what it is. It's like I'm really weirded out by them. Something, it's not even the texture, it's just sort of like... Yeah, I know what you mean, like... Oh, like what are you chewing on? I used to always like cool with all the two drinks, right? And I remember like seeing like... Oh, you get the pot! The pot makes sense. It's winter, you know, I'll get the hot bubble tea. True, but hot bubble tea tastes weird. It's kind of like... It's like hot coke. <laughs> you know, like, what the like, where's my ice? A warm beer. <laughs> no, really, you know, they do it's drink like, warm beer. Oh. They do drink warm beer. Damn it. Right now we are at the Great Beer Pub in Burnaby. It's Check round it two. Just in time for the holidays. Nutcracker. Cheers. Here's to Canada. Canada. Oh, Canada. In high school, or like in elementary school, like I've, I've always noticed that people were like magnetically drawn to you. 
It's for some I reason. I pay them. I honestly did. It's because. It was because you didn't care what other people thought. No, I never did. You know, the thing is, it didn't just lie. I didn't come from a wealthy family or anything like that. So people had to win me over. I can't, money can never win me over. You have to win me over by like, something you could buy. You know, like, you could buy really like, with humor or, you know, gifts you never like, yeah, I, I don't care like, if you drove a fancy car or anything like that. It was something who was like honest. Like, someone would like, honestly tell me, Oh, you know, I'm not really doing well with this, or I feel like this. And you know that person is trusting me with their, their inner beliefs and feelings. Yeah. And that, I always felt like if I could tell someone something and they would not tell somebody else, or reveal something to me, yeah. you know, you built this, like, uh, a bridge. You built, like, a connection. But some people, like, they just never, they're never real. They're because they're all scared. I mean, we're all kids, we're all insecure. And you come along and you just like don't give a shit and you know what you want. Because you know what, That's you know what? why people are drawn to you, but man. I know that someone, we feel the same way. Like everybody's a sexual being, everybody has a like, really fucked up weird But thing they're not as them. open as you though. They're not as, you know. But they know I'm being honest. They know I'm That's being what they liked honest. about you. Yeah. Everyone liked you in high school. There was one kid who didn't like me. Yeah, me. His name was Tuesday and Tuesday. Yeah. Because he didn't like that name at all. I, I thought you were a fucking asshole. <laughs> Right now we're at Denny's in Burnaby. Yeah, in Kanata. Kanata. Which means village. Appropriately in village. Look at this. They have Radagast red velvet pancake puppies. I always had different flavors of pancake puppies here at Denny's. Oh, okay. They come in like a glass or um, it seems like a bowl this time. You know what? That was the same waitress that served us last time. <laughs> Deja vu. She likes working here at Denny's. Because I can only imagine anybody would. She hasn't moved up there. Look how good this sounds. Three red velvet pancake puppies made with white chocolate chips and to and tossed in powdered sugar. That sounds really good. And only two seventy nine. It's a good deal. And I get that. Yeah. Did she say that once? What is this? Dipping? I think it's uh, it's a dipping sauce. And this is a. Uh, Pancake puppies. Pancake puppies. They look it looks a lot like more appetizing on the on the menu, honestly. They look like chocolate covered meatballs or something. Yeah, it doesn't look that appealing. Actually, I thought that was applesauce there, yeah. or like a big chunk of horseradish. It wasn't really good. No, it wasn't. And I told the manager, and he's like, "Okay, you have a point. So like, we're not going to charge you for your meal." And my mom was so embarrassed. I was like, why did you bring this up? Like, yeah. Why would you pay for this? You know? But some people don't go there. You know, like they don't want to say anything. They don't want to like. It, I mean, honestly, you get a lot for free if you just complain. Like, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like yeah. shit like this, right? If you don't like it, it's something off or, or off, you know? Yeah. Then you have a right to say something. Absolutely. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Kept it on. Oh, it's okay, I'm just not gonna pay for it. <laughs> She'll get the point right away. Yeah. Yeah. The point is you don't fuck the customer. <laughs> just don't do it. 